Hello! I got it! How are you? I want to have you well. Welcome to the stream, everyone. So, um... Today we have a couple of goals. Uh, goal number one is we need to catch enough Pokemon that we can go into the future. Pokemon Home, isn't that the wrong application here? And I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Uh, I'm glad, uh, I'm sad that you're not doing so well. I hope you'll feel better soon enough. But yeah, so... I'm thinking that we need to catch a bunch of Pokemon. Um, the easiest way to do this... Maybe to... Because like we don't have enough Pokemon to enter the gym. Uh, and that's the like number one goal. And I'm thinking that maybe the easiest way to do this would be to head towards Cinnabar. Because then we can get the uh, Lord Helix. And... We can um, catch some Pokemon on the way. Are we able to go from Pallet Town here, or do we have to go to uh, from Fuchsia? I can never remember which way is correct. I think we can go from Pallet Town. Pallet Town looks a lot shorter, and then we can catch Pokemon on the, in the ocean on the way. You have to go from Pallet Town. Well, that's convenient. So that would be like goal number one: is we'll do that. Casting some Pokemon in the way and um, and getting Lord Healings. Um, yeah, if you want to. In the meantime, you can try and find a fifth Pokemon so we're even. Otherwise, I'll only use four Pokemon for now. Uh, I think it's much. Uh, I wish you good. Yeah, I wish it to good too. I think it's much. Uh, school stresses me. It doesn't matter, I'm glad you're doing well. I mean, you'll get used to it after a while. School is stressful. Oh, would you look at that chat? A Staryu. <laughs> I have actually been thinking of getting a Staryu. So... You're a star? Thank you, Yui. I appreciate it. Does it do like Staryu? I guess I have to decide now. Do I want Styu as a permanent addition to my team? And I think I'm gonna say yes. Which will put us at 6 Pokemon. And here, you don't have to get to 6 Pokemon if you don't have a 6 Pokemon you want. Um, if you don't have a 6 Pokemon you want, I... We, we, we can just like... I, I can use less Pokemon until you get them. But yeah, I think I'll put the Sai on the team. Uh, I should probably check the gender, though. Wait, does Sai even have gender? Sai do does not have gender. Right. Well, Alex, you mentioned preferring being a genderless Pokemon? W w would you would you rather want to be Staryu than, than uh, Lord Helix? Okay, you can you can be Staryu. Let me name it Alex then. Well, that's convenient. I didn't actually know that Staryu was a genderless Pokemon. I always assumed that it had a gender, but I guess it makes sense. Um Alex is a star? I can see it. I don't need to fight trainers right now, I just need to... Sail south and chat to any Pokemon I see. That's the only goal. Go star for him. 
makes sense. <laughs> yeah, of course Yui would think so. Yui's definitely not biased. And I think we have caught a couple of Pokemon. Or we'd have a Sayu. So like, we should be pretty close. And I think the fossil is in here. So that will be another Pokemon. Hello. You seem a little sty-eyed, Alex. That's cute. <laughs> uh, wasn't it here? I'm, I'll run in the halls if I want to, and no one can stop me. Alright, so it doesn't seem to be here. Last room. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I have a, st a fossil for you. Go ahead. And we got Lord Helix. Does anyone want to be a Lord Helix? Or shall I uh, pick someone that's not here? Alex too? No. We're starting to have a lot, uh, quite a few regulars, so I don't want to just like do an Alex too. <laughs> hmm, it's a bit too far from a snake. I th I'm thinking of Sinya. I can see Sinya as, uh, as Lord Healings. Shelby? Who's Shelby? Who is Shelby? 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 Because it has a shell? Oh, it's a pun! Right. We don't have a person in chat called Shelby, Yui. Would have been nice uh, for the pun, but I would rather name it after uh, after a viewer. So oh, it's level forty-four. Holy fuck! That's slightly excessive. Should probably not abuse that too much because that's like. By far my high highest level one. Temp name could be Shelby. I'm just gonna name it Sydney for now, I think. Even before Yui decides to name herself Shelby just for the pun. But then we'll have to rename the Paris. Or the Paris act, sorry. Does this make an explosion? It does indeed. Thank you for the sub, Yui. Seven months, not bad. That makes me really happy. But yeah, we pretty much have a full team then. Um, I I just need to like level up a lot of them. Kibby can uh, get to walk around a bit. Why isn't Kibi running around? Oh! Oh! It's a rideable Pokemon! That's actually really nice. Like, look at this. Look at that speed. We. <laughs> I am not entirely sure on the team. I'm like I, this might be a case where I do end up deciding later on to remove one and replace with someone else. But but for now, I'm actually pretty happy with the six pack one. I can think of a name that sounds cute, but you have a friend who had it, so that would be weird. That would be weird, yeah. And again, 
I don't want to give them random names. I want to name them after you guys. That makes it so much more fun for me. Oh, she means herself. Oh, I like Yuri though. Yuri is such a cute name. So I don't see why you would change her. There's not really much point. Stop minimizing you asshole. <laughs> Because it doesn't fit in society? What do you mean it doesn't fit in society? Why should society get to decide your name? Like, Yui isn't that weird a name. Like, it's, it is definitely unique, and I wouldn't name my child Yui. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's definitely unique, and I wouldn't name my child Yui. But I wouldn't say it's like... Like, it doesn't give me a vibe that you're weird. Imagine meeting a Yui in the street. So, like... Like, there's some kind of names that, that definitely are bad to name so, like use, because people have associations with them, and they will immediately think you're weird for having that name. Um, like, if you pick a really etchy name, then I can see an issue. But, like, Yui doesn't give me that vibe. It does give me a vibe of a very original and unique name. But, I, again, I don't get the vibe at all that, that it's weird. I mean, you might have be asked, how do you spell that? But, like, that's the extent. It's not like you're, you're going in, into kindergarten and you're gonna get bullied. I like, generally speaking, adults don't bully people for their name. the best name I can think of for myself, then why not use it? You don't have laws around um, names in your country, right? Because if you don't have any laws that prevent you from doing it, and it isn't like excessively stupid, uh, and you like it yourself, then I don't see the problem. See also the, the name of one of Must Children? I don't know what Must Children are named. I didn't even know the guy had children. I'm gonna change 75% of my full name. That is a lot. I have only changed my first name, which is like a tiny portion of my name. Because I have such a long name. <laughs> I was about to, like, say it on stream to, like, demonstrate, but I'm not gonna... S I'm not gonna say my name on stream. That's probably a bad idea. <laughs> my middle name is Dumb? Fair enough. The kid whose name is pronounced Kyle, apparently. Oh, that's Dumb. Yeah, I... I... So, again, my argument here is... I don't... I think you should name your kid Yui, but I see absolutely no problem with you naming yourself Yui. The main problem with giving uh, a child a stupid name is that they didn't have a choice. They couldn't say, no, I would rather not get bullied. But, like, as an adult, that's a completely different matter. And you do have a choice. It's your choice. Um, I just don't think you should give your kid a super unique name, because they might end up hating it. Um, especially if they have to grow up and go to kindergarten with that name. Alright, I think if we don't have enough, there's a bit more on the, to the east. Last, uh, half of your last name is from a homophobic part of your family. Yeah, I can see why you would remove that. Um, I would too. But I think you were thinking it, Yui. Like, the most important is that you like the name. And also that whatever you name yourself is legal in your country. That is also important, but... 
But the part you keep is Danish and you like that? I'm happy then. Well, I mean, I don't... Well... It is a bit random to have a... I never quite understood, like, the whole American sentiment of, like, being really, really proud of your heritage. Like, like, where you come from originally, even though it's several generations back or whatever. Like, because as far as I understand it, you don't have any, like, actual Danish pride, right? You just like the name? I mean, that's completely reason enough. I, uh, this is not necessarily criticism of you, but a general sentiment that I often feel like I see from Americans. But no culture or anything. Yeah, yeah. So, like, like the classic example that I remember uh, is, like, a guy who was, like, oh, uh, call, calling... Wait, no, I think it was a girl. Oh, well. Who would be proud of being from the U.S.? That's fair. Also, in today's... Uh, in, especially in American culture, I think Americans view being American as, like, the default... Like, I feel like most people from most countries acknowledge the fact that their country is just one country. But, like, Americans get the vibe that they think they're the main country. And all the others are, like, studied other times. <laughs> people be like, I'm French, never been there, and my great 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 grandfather lived in France. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Meanwhile, in Europe, I get the vibe that. Like, like, if you're half of another nationality, that is interesting. You'll definitely call yourself that. Then you'll say I'm like... For example, I had a, a, a classmate who was half German. He did say he was half German. If you're quarter, like, that, you might mention that. But, like, if you're less than that, then it's n a random fun fact. You don't actually consider yourself f part of that nationality at all. Like, I'm a tiny bit German, I'm a tiny bit French. I consider it as a fun fact, I might bring up a, a party to explain my name, and that's it. You are a quarter? Okay, that is more than I thought. <laughs> so, like, a quarter is, like, this kind of the extent at where I can... S I would say you have a connection to it. Wait, you're a quarter Danish? So, your great-grandparents are... Wait, Yui, doesn't that mean you might be able to become Danish by the process of, uh, I think it's called natalism? If your grandpa uh, uh, grandparent was Danish? Please, for the love of God, say yes. I don't know the rules for that. I'm a quarter Spanish and I don't think I ever said, hey, I have Spanish heritage. Yeah, again, like, like it's only really, I would only consider myself part of another, uh, uh, like, multiple nationalities if I'm half. Alright, we're still missing two. Um, I, I would only say that if I have half. And else is a random fun fact and that's it. Oh no, I don't have heritage? Okay. But, like, like, my point here is just grandparent is close enough that I wouldn't say you're Danish, but I would say that that might make the process of immigrating to Denmark potentially easier. I haven't fought this trainer before. I thought I had. <laughs> I hope I'm getting the quarter right. I mean, you, you would... If you want to, like, go through the process of natalism, I think it's called. Nati yeah, I think it's natalism. Um... Then I'm pretty sure you need, like, actual proof that your claim that your grandparent is Danish is true. And I'm not sure if a grandparent is too far. Like, it might be your parents have to be Danish. Or, like, one of them has to. Probably would be too far. I mean, it, it's it's very different from nation to nation, and I'm not sure how the rules are in Denmark. I'm not even sure how the rules are in everywhere else. I know there is a process for if you're part, like, from this nationality, uh, Im the immigration process gets easier. Like, for sure, if you're half Danish, then the immigrating to Denmark is super easy. But I'm not sure if, like, a, a quarter is enough. 
Um, the... Do you know if your grandparent has Danish citizenship? Or if they fully immigrated and don't have... Um, you don't know. Okay. Because that would probably also change things, I imagine. And I'm not sure you can have both Danish and American citizenship. I think it's one or the other. Some nations allow you to have two citizenships. Like, I know Denmark does. Because my old classmate had uh, dual uh, Danish and German citizenship. Uh, but... But he, that's not really good enough. 90% sure he was born here? I don't think he'll count them. I am pretty sure in the Danish viewpoint, he'd be American. Like if, he's, if he's never lived in Denmark, then I don't think it's coming. So in which case, um, from that perspective, it would be a great grandparent. And that's probably too far. But yeah, again, so I'm not saying I would count you as Danish. I mean, you have... I mean, like, being a quarter Danish, you probably have, like, some Danish heritage. But, like, like you, you, you're not Danish. But my point was more just... It might make the process of immigrating easier, and I have no idea. Grandparents, you have a shot. Great-grandparents, you have nothing. Yeah, great-grandparents... It's probably gonna be too far. Oh god, I haven't fought these guys either. I'm not even sure if there's any monster that I haven't caught in this room. I I need to stop fighting random trainers. You might be something. I mean, even if you can't immigrate via natalism, can you stop saying probably when it's up? Is there's no shot? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fair. It is obvious that I know there is no shot. I agree. I was just curious, okay? But yeah. But yeah, to be fair, even grandparent, I'm still not sure if it's enough. It might have to be a parent that has had Danish citizenship. Because I noticed rules are very strict, especially with Denmark. Like, Denmark is one of the countries that are hardest to immigrate to. Well, in general, Northern Europe is pretty hard to immigrate to. Especially if you're not European. I mean, if Mexico has those rules, then I could immigrate to Mexico, but then I have to learn Spanish. So, I don't think the process of immigration via natalism is that simple. But I'm pretty sure there's a bit more to it. I just know that the process of immigrating via natalism is easier than immigration uh, via citizenship. Uh, tests and so like like just by via immigration um i mean the easiest would probably just not be danish like just move to denmark with a work visa and work in denmark and then like i know a lot of people like a lot of my mom's colleagues don't have danish citizenship but they've lived in denmark for years and they are like working towards eventually getting Danish citizenship because like they have a life here. Um, but like it's not something you just cash you get, kind of. Citizenship is weird because like it's kind of like an exclusive club, you know? Uh, is there any Pokemon I haven't caught? Oh, I know a Pokemon I haven't caught. Oh, wait, I probably shouldn't do that. Um, does anyone know? Should I hold off on evolving Alex? I should probably check Alex's moves then. This is a long distraction? Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I definitely didn't search up Alex's moveset instead of Staryu's moveset. I am very smart. What do you mean the Google doesn't know what moves Alex learns? Why are you apologizing, Cam? Because I can. Stop me. 
<laughs> you have no power for over me. I can do what I want. <laughs> um. So, um, Alex learns Hydro Pump at 45. I feel like we probably want Hydro Pump. Yeah, and, um,. Wand and Hydro Pump when involved. So yeah, so I guess I have to go look. Uh, I don't think I caught a magic card. Which case we could go back to the water. This is surprisingly hard to get reach 50. Like, like it's more difficult than I was immediately expecting. Maybe there's something in my like box that I can can evolve very easily. Uh, but I don't think so. Yeah. It's nothing that's just like evolved by a stone. Why do you have to call it a water pump? What? Like the move, water pump. Because like it pumps water. I feel like it's logical. Have I caught you? I might not have. I'm gonna catch you just in case. I think that symbol means I have. Most pumps do. Well, I mean, pump sounds stupid. Where else can I catch Pokemon I haven't met before? Oh! No, I have caught one before, okay. Like calling something... a sitting chair? I mean, pump is not necessarily a water pump, I, I'm gonna argue. Like, the action of pumping something is not exclusive to water. Uh, I don't know where to look. This doesn't look like there's anything here I haven't caught. I thought there was, but it doesn't look like it. I guess we have to go back to the water. Uh, hope there's magically two water Pokemon we haven't caught. I, I know there's magic card. We haven't caught a magic card. I'm going to check if it was 48 or 49. I think it's 48 though, unfortunately. But if you can pump a fluid, it should be able to pump water, I suppose. You, I, I, I think you're overthinking this. Right, so was it 48 or 49 that I'm at? Forty-eight. Okay. All right, we can catch a Madika, and then I think we're given a Ch Charmander for free somewhere, but I can't remember where. Uh, but if you go there and talk to the guy who's giving gives us a Charmander, because we couldn't get it the first time we were there, maybe I can also try to go east from here. That's probably actually better. Because uh, we haven't been here, so I guess we can go east and go to Seafoam. Um, let's see if there's anything on the way we haven't gotten. The main thing we're looking for is a magic card, but there might be other Pokemon out here that we haven't got. Do you have a tentacle? Like, if we're lucky, there might be some out here. Oh, there's only tentacle. Come on, give me something better than a tentacle. I know you can do that. Magic out. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna I'm gonna go try to find the Charmander. Uh, I can't remember where the Charmander is. I think I'm actually gonna tr go to find the Squirtle first. I don't know if we can get the Squirtle yet. Uh, but I know where the Squirtle is. Because I think the Squirtle was... Had a higher requirement than the Charmander. 
And I don't know if I need that. But we'll see. But I'm only missing one, and then we can do the, go do the gym. What about you, Eert? How is it going for you? Have you managed to beat the gym already? Or are you waiting and catching more months? Uh, okay, so we go... Trying to think. Was it settled on? It wasn't settled on. Was it Cerulean? No. Is it Lavender? No. I'm waiting and thinking of a team. Okay. It wasn't Pewter. I think it must have been Celadon that had the Skirtle. No, it wasn't Celadon. I know why it is. It was... Vermillion. Yeah, yeah, the Squirtle is right there. I accidentally walked into this building. Yes, we can take the Squirtle. Now we have 50. So now we can get into the gem. I can slow down if you want, Eart, if you need more time to uh, think of a team. I have other things I could do in the meantime. So I'll yeah. let you pick if that's relevant. Yeah. And it, we can always just do the next fight 5v5, even though I have 6. That's also fine. But I can use insert it. We need Camellia back? What do you mean we need Camellia back? Yeah, so I can challenge the gym now. Uh, but maybe I should wait a bit. Yeah, it's mom. Right. Uh, you still have the mass advantage of picking according to what I have. You still have the mass advantage picking according to what I have. I do? But I don't know your last two months, and you know mine. I don't have a last month? Right. Well, I don't know your fifth month. So I, I, I'm, I'm unable to, like, pick my team based around what you have. Oh, you don't have a fifth. Oh, right. I, okay, so what I'm gonna say is, I'm only gonna use the, um, the, the, I mean, the order that I caught them. So, once you get a fifth, I'm gonna add Alex. I'm not gonna add Alex before you have a fifth. And Cindy, I'm only gonna use once you have a six. So I'm gonna make that a rule, so I can't cheat, okay? Just to make that very clear. I should probably double check the um, moves and such. But that, that is the rule I'm setting for myself, just so you also have expectations. That's decent. And I confuse it. Night screen, psychic. That works. 
Hydro Pump, nice. Rock Throw, Rock Slide, Attacked. That's also gonna be decent. Let's see if there's anything interesting we can learn in here. Scald. 8100. Is that better than the move Alex has? Yes. Uh, we have enough thunder. No one can even play rough, then. We have light to play rough. Again, don't teleport. Does that even do something? The user switches places with a different Pokemon instantly. So, teleport is the same thing as clicking switch. All right. Well, that is something. All right. So to not stress Eard, I think I'm gonna go on a side quest until Eard says that um, that she's ready to tackle the gym because uh, I don't want to stress Eard. So I'm gonna go a side quest. Uh, I don't know where. Let me check the map. And I, I'm trying not to get XP on this side quest. It's purely just for fun. I can't go up here. I guess I can go to Saffron. But this might actually not be available. The power plant? Don't need to go to the power plant. I'm gonna talk to NPC. There might be a, an interesting NPC. Mm. Yeah, until Eat says she's ready at least. That's what we're gonna be doing. Oh, I know the perfect distraction chat. If you wanted to be distracted, someone mentioned there was like a mini game in the Go Park. The famous hurting game, everyone loves. I'm kind of curious about this. I haven't actually tried this mechanic before. I don't even know what it is. So while you're things, I'm gonna check this out. Or you see what's in here. Put my go park. I kind of like all the pictures. They're very cute. Flashing back and forth. Loading executors. Always looks so great. Best Pokemon ever. Honestly, I think I'm extremely on the level for this gem. And since you last year edition are from high level areas, you have type adventures. Maybe we should stop the rival uh, thing here and let you go on your own. Because there'll be a massive time loss otherwise. Hmm. I don't want to, but it might be for the better. I just, I really enjoyed this. I can also do this. And only have these four on my team. You still have a way higher average? Right. I don't know what to do then. 
I really enjoyed the whole rival thing, but if I got a hat, that's bad. Because it's kind of hard. I mean, I can give you a... I can buy you a bunch of time uh, by tackling... Like, by doing whatever the thing that is in the go-par, I guess. Um, but... But if you don't think that's going to be enough, and if you don't know what mods you want on your team, um, to begin with, then it might be a problem. And I don't want to force you, obviously. By the time I'm ready for this gym, you'll be on the league. I... <laughs> Give me a moment to think, then. Actually, I'm gonna do a smart. I'll be right back, chat. Um, while I quickly think about what to do.
we are back. Welcome back, everyone. So, um, the conclusion for now is that we'll end up saying um, that I'll continue the rest of the game on my own. And Yet will join me for the rival again in Sword and Shield. I think it's the conclusion. It is very sad, but it's for the better. It would appear. So, for now, um, let's go do the gem. And hope for the best. Uh, I need to figure out how do I want to lead. I think I'm gonna lead with Yui for now, because Yui can probably manage to kill a couple, considering most of the Pokemon in here are psychic type. But just that I haven't beaten intelligence? Who cares about intelligence? But yeah, so for now, let's go to the gym. Oh! They actually made this gym significantly easier. You see the smoke? The smoke is showing me where the walls are, kinda. But like, very subtly. But it does, like, you can kinda see the outline. So there's not a wall here. I think I can go behind this guy. Wait, I can't touch this guy? Okay, this guy looks non-optional. Actual poison type in the poison gem. Holy fuck, chat! That's incredible. <laughs> I was not expecting actual poison types here. Oh, that's gonna get annoying fast. It has protect, and it's smart enough to use it to avoid dick. Or is it? Maybe it's not smart enough. Maybe it's just pretending to be smart enough. It isn't smart enough. Well, actually, using protect here would have been a mistake, so... Why is it minimizing? This is gonna get annoying, chat. Okay, it's using protect on the wrong turn, so that's good. Okay, so this AI is just terrible. I was worried for a second when it perfectly put, uh, countered my dig, but no, it's, it's just a bad AI. Please, for love of God, hit. Oh, it doesn't even matter. I swear, this fucking mock is mocking everything up. Please, hit. 
and a miss. I'm gonna get destroyed by this mark chap. At least it protects on the wrong turn. Please hit. I'm gonna be so happy. Um, no. Let's just have butter. That should do a lot if we can hit her. Please hit. I swear to God. If you can hit this here, I'm gonna be so excited. Yes! Okay, one more hit. And we got a flinch as well. Nice. One more hit and we win. And we got it. Holy fuck, I hate Mark. So much. Spamming minimize is just so annoying. Nothing is poison bark. Poison bark. Yeah, I'm gonna switch. Oh, it's bark type. That's actually annoying. Uh, bark type, bark type. All right, let's just send out. Cindy isn't actually uh, psychic type yet, so it's not weak to bark. It's only when it evolves. Uh, are we fast in this? I don't think so. Yeah, we're not. Okay, Senior dies. Yeah, Senior's. Oh, not Senior, sorry. Alex. Alex is not very useful in this gym. At least not until it evolves. But we need a bit more levels before that. Well, the question is do we even want Hydro Pump? Because we do have Hydro Pump on Senior. We can learn Surf. So maybe a Hydro Pump is necessary, and we can just evolve now. Because like, maybe evolving now is actually a good idea. I'm not actually sure. Right, just Rock Slide. I never bother with Hydro Pump? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's correct. I, th I think we evolved uh, Alex now. And also gaining the Psychic type is going to help. I really am on the level, holy fuck. If you are just lower level than me, that's um... I understand why you say you're on the level. Cause I am already on the level as fuck. <laughs> The 80% hit rate of Hydro Pump makes the average hit per turn lower than things like Surf. Oh, what 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 is the uh, hit percentage of Surf? Oh wait, you meant the average damage per turn? Right, Surf is just better. That makes sense. I am stupid. Ignore. Uh, pure poison. That's annoying. But we can do that, I think. I hate that you don't get XP if you die. It's really mean.
Hydro Pump averages um, 88 damage per turn, while Surf 90. Okay, yeah, so Surf is just better. Oh! Well, my Nidoran is cooler. Even if it's lower level. Oh, sorry, not Nidoran. Nidorino? I'm so bad at the... The Nidoran line. Overall, lower precision moves and Pokemon are just not worth it. It depends. Because, like, Play Rough is insanely good, even though it only has 90%. But I do, I do agree. I do prefer a slightly lower average, uh, but more consistent, than a higher average, uh, but less consistent. But if it's, like, a lot higher average, then I would rather have that. If that makes sense. But here, it, it doesn't matter. Surf is both the more consistent move, but it's also more average. So yeah, so let's evolve uh, Alex now. Get it over with. We do already have the item. Playbox just has no good equivalent, I suppose. Could also evolve Eert, but I'm not gonna. Because I'm Eert's gonna stay an EV. Who would ever evolve a starter in this game? You can't? Oh! But it said it was usable. Pardon me, I'm confused. I'm gonna check, mostly because I'm curious what the reaction is gonna be. Because that actually sounds kind of cute. Uh, but I do like that, because I don't want to evolve her. Yeah, Eert doesn't seem to like it. Okay. Eert, Eert will say Eert. And I like that better that way. She's cuter that way. Uh, do we have... We do have Surf, so that is 9100. Questions... So, like... I like Scald as well. That is... 8100 but may burn. So the question is, do we rather, like, have 10 less but burn? Or 10 more and no burn? I don't know how... How high a chance to burn are we talking about? Hmm, 10%, 10%. Not sure if 10% is a bit worth it. Like, 10% is not a lot. Like, 10 base power, that is a significant improvement. But then again, like, 10% to burn. Is that worth... Is getting a burn worth 100 base power? I think that's the question. Because if every 10th attack, so it's roughly 100 by base power. Would I sacrifice a 100 attack move for burn? And I think the answer is no, I wouldn't. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna see Surf to both. Oh, Kibi also has Surf. Right. Kibi really needs some better moves, but I have no idea what I can teach yet. Like, I don't have any TMs that you can learn that are that good. But, like, like Kibi's learn set it just doesn't seem that good. <laughs> but we'll find something, I'm sure. Yeah, so let's get rid of Hydro Pump. But then again, even if KB's uh, learn set is not good, that good, it's a pretty strong mon overall. Like, Taurus is pretty, pretty strong. I 
Actually, it has a pretty decent learn set. You can learn a lot of random TMs that we just don't have. So I guess whenever we see a TM, we should try and get it, basically. That's my conclusion on this. Um, there's a chance it's one of the ones that I would want. Like, things like Iron Tail would be great, for example. This guy looks like a jerk, by the way. I, I don't like his model. Mm, I don't really want to use steak when it's this close, so which is kind of fun about. Let's not play with a uh, chance. This guy likes Haunter. Of course, like like a guy that looks like that would like Pokemon that are famous for licking. Like only competed by Licky Tongue. Ugh. That's bad. I'm gonna switch. Send uh, out here. Then we live, and then we can just kill the vine. You have a turn. Welcome back, Alex. How are you doing? Have to move a heavy TV in 37 degrees Celsius. Oh, that sounds fun. Uh, what joy! <laughs> Solar Beam does nothing, so it's fine. I mean, at least I can uh, be like here now and have a TV in your room. I mean, that is nice. I mean, I have a TV in the, the room right next to me. Because it's... So... And it is my TV, at least half. This is my apartment. So that's something. It's not quite as cool, though. <laughs> Should die. I have a TV in your bedroom and don't really use them. I mean, fair. I have some extra screens, but they're not really like TV quality, so. You're never in your bedroom now? Imagine leaving your bedroom for anything. What the hell? Couldn't be me, chat. The bedroom way comfier. Can my computer isn't in my bedroom? Why do you not have your computer in your bedroom? Then you can't just stay in your bedroom all day. What's the fun in that?
Oh, I just think it's back pulse? That's bad. Two stories? How does two stories prevent you from having your computer in your bed? Routers on the ground floor? Can't run an Ethernet wire up to your room? Why don't you have a, like, a booster, um, router? Like, if you have a two, uh, two floor house, I would, I would have a, wires better? Yes, but you don't need a wire. I don't have a wire. I'm able to stream online games easily without a wire. You want a wire? What for? I'm wired upstairs? I don't have a wire output. I only wire output this in the living room. Speed? It's not that big a speed difference. I would like a wire if I could, but... But, like... There, there's no wire outlet in my room, so I can't get up. Which is a bit sad, but it is what it is. I don't actually know, like, yeah, if you have a wire upstairs, do you just, like, run the cable all the way upstairs? Or do you have a specific output for it in your room? Just run a wire along the wall edges? But that's a door in the way. Wouldn't that mean I can never close my door? Like, my router isn't that far away. Isn't that a gap? No. Why would that be a gap? You can run it below the doorstep thing? Wouldn't it get, like, like squeezed? Isn't that bad for it? So the door can open. You can... What? Of course it can open. Flatwise it says? Wait, it do? Okay, I might need to look into that. You got one? Oh! I didn't know that was a thing. Can we just drill the hole through the uh, wall anyway? The thing is, that wall is a pain to drill through, so... Cam, if you open your door, it's flush with the floor. It'd be harder to open. No, because it has to, like, to stop a thing. Wait, you, does your door not have that? Can your door open both ways? Because, like... Um, no, okay. So my door has a thing under it, where it's, uh, the, the door, like, the foot of the door, like, the, the part that's attached to the floor, is slightly taller on one side than the other, because that allows to close your door without a gap. And I assume that was normal. Because mo most doors I've seen have that design. Some doors ha here have it, but not most. Huh. I mean... M uh, my mom's apartment that is very modern, didn't have it, but this building isn't very modern and does have it. I prefer having it, to be honest, because it makes the door more soundproof, and I get very annoyed if my door is not very soundproof. But if the flat wire exists, it can probably run through, uh, through the door. Like, how flat is the flat wire? Oh! Senya's evolving. All praise Lord Helix chat. I want you to get down and bow to, to your savior Lord Helix. For the, uh, for the cable, I just run it under the metal thing you have below doors. 
metal thing you have below doors. What metal things? Um, name them and then I'll decide. I know what it means. I don't know what it means. Spike cannon. That sounds cool. 2125. That's actually a pretty good move. Uh, and we do actually have an extra slot because um, don't need that one. Hard to explain? I see. It's like the doorstep uh, you're talking about, but made out of metal? You can run things under it? Because my thing is made out of wood and it's fused with the floors. I can't lift it up. Alternatively, um, it's, it's like the doorstep. Wait, no, yeah. Uh, Dating store sounds confusing. Okay, you know what, chat? Just because this conversation is confusing the hell out of me, um, I'm gonna like just quickly go take a picture of it and put it on Discord. Uh, so, J Jack Kirk, I'm gonna leave you waiting for a little bit. <laughs> I send a picture of it on Discord, and it's like, it's pretty standard, especially for older buildings, to have those things under the door. Um, and to be fair, I think the building I'm living in might originally be like very old, but like, it might have been... I'm not actually sure how old this building is. Oh right, 14 years. I think it's 14 years old. Something like that. Sounds about right. Cam door reveal? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like the common thing to have those cam door sums. I used to have those sums my dad got tired of me constantly stopping my toe on them. And they're not actually that tall. Um, like... I don't think you would stop you. Like, I... I I haven't stopped my toe on them for like 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 seven like ten years or so. They are when you're three feet tall. I mean, true. But like, it's been a long time since I last stopped my toe on those things. Kind of get used to them, especially since they're everywhere in Denmark. Kind of the standard. But I do agree, like, it would be better to find a different system. But I do prefer them being there or them not being there. Because I hate that the door isn't soundproof. Because my, um, my old... The apartment I used to live in before this, uh, like my mom's apartment, doesn't have those things. And the doors aren't soundproof. At all. It's It's been a long time since you were, you've been tiny. I mean, it's true. I was like nine when he decided to eat them. That's fair. I do remember stopping my tail when I was younger, but you kind of get used to them. But yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna look into my options. So, the question is, 
Would I be able to want to ride under that? Like, is it flat enough to run under that? I'm assuming your body doesn't actively work against you at every moment, Cam. I don't know what that means. I mean, I'm not very good at controlling my body. Is this thing just spamming protect and somehow hitting them every time? Cam, you rent right? I do. Okay, yeah, it's just spamming protect. I'm guessing it can't actually hit me. So can you modify why you live like that? I mean, I, I don't want to remove that thing. As I mentioned, I think it's a really bad idea to remove them. I mean, I can't, I, I'm not sure, like, I haven't read the entire manual, but I think I can modify it to an extent. If that was your house, you caught a twin channel? True. That might lower the value. Also, hi. Oh, right. Uh, welcome to the stream, then, yeah? Oh, you sent me a picture of uh, hers. Um, that does make sense. I, I, I do like the wooden ones. They look nice. But yeah, I, I, I can understand different systems. And they also have the disadvantages. You can blend it back if you do it right. I mean, super. Either way, I'll look into my options. I would prefer not having to drill or something. But like, like maybe a flat wire can run under that, no problem. And alternatively... So, to explain this, I'm gonna have to go... I have a weird balcony. Um... So my balcony has windows that can close. So essentially the balcony is kind of like a room. M not really, because it is not like completely sealed, it's not insulated at all, and doesn't have any like heating and such. It still feels like a balcony, but it has windows that can close, so it doesn't get rain in. Um, and I have a window that goes into the balcony. So it's kind of like I have a window that goes into the into a closed room that has a door that leads into the living room where the route is. So I could just run a wire through that way. Though that's probably really pointless and stupid. Also then again, I don't think a 10 meter cable would be enough. And I don't think you can buy them longer than 10 meters. You can? I thought I'd like tell me there was like the, the long cable. You can. I'm using a 50 meter? Oh! I just, like I remember I was at the store and the longest they have was 10 meter, but I guess you can order them like specially from like a... Like a bit more fancy store or something or like online. What the fuck, Koga? This is gonna be a 4v4 battle or something? Okay. So him splitting into four served literally no purpose other than looking cool. Got it. Nice that it's using protect on the wrong turn. It 
did it again. It's so very smart. Oh, okay. I guess it's just gonna explode then. Why not, right? I lift that? Ah, okay, right. Friendship. I mean, that's nice. Then a bug. So I think it's a bug. Why is it flying? I think it might be a bug. I'm gonna send out. Uh, I'm gonna send out Alex here. 90% sure it's a bug. This is him up here. Huh, he has psychic. Eh? It's gonna be big. This gym is so good at using Protect Chat, it's amazing. 10 out of 10. Okay, it's not super effective. That is important to know. In which case, Headbutt is better. Even if it's Phantom Attack. Oh wow, he didn't use Protect Chat, impressive. Oh, I didn't die. Okay, that's bad. Sets is a bug, use a ground type, surprise is neutral. It's, I, I had forgotten box resist ground, okay? I, I thought it was only grass that resist the ground. Both. Okay. I guess it makes sense. I just I just forgot. That's all. I'm expecting Golbat to be the finish, or like something like that. I remember him having a Golbat, and he hasn't used it yet. Good crap. Oh. Died on range. That's annoying. But not the end of the world. Uh, don't have anything. Sinia. All praise Lord Helix, our savior. Go back. I guess this one also is. Why does all of his mons have protect? It's getting a bit dumb. Like, Poison Protect is pretty good a strat. The problem is he just never poisons me. Which makes it not as good a strat. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, we defeated Koga. Good job, everyone. And we got Toxic, which is not actually that useful. Oh, I can, uh... I'm very happy here. Adorable as fuck. Okay, so... Um... I can't actually remember. What gym is next? Sabrina or, uh, or Blaine? It's Sabrina, right? And then Blaine after that? Uh, he'd have used the move uh, in fight to demonstrate it, but he missed the explanation. It was toxic uh, instead of playing toxic. Right. It's whoever you want. In that case, we'll go Blaine. Aww. Yet giving me a present. The moment you get four passes, uh, this game is open world. Oh, neat. I'm only missing two batches, right? Should probably check. Oh, we're missing three batches. Wait, who's the last one? Oh, right, that's the weird one. Right, that's the uh, Giovanni one. So, for now, uh, we should go... I'm going to go to Blaine. And then we're going to do Sabrina after this. Can't from here? Wait, really? What do you mean I can't from here? Oh, you're right, you're right. But I can fly. I told you earlier you had to go and pilot. Yeah, you're right, I just realized. I'm just stupid, but we, we can fly, so we can just fly to... Um I believe I have to go for the burnt down building first before anything else. But first, I'm quickly going to let's take. Let's take Alex out of the ball. Oh, this is also a ride one. I specifically want to take Alex out because I didn't want a ride one because I'm getting a bit tired of the ride one. Uh, I, gu I guess it's in Sinyo. Okay, this one's not a ride one. I'm just gonna double check if we do still need the keys. I, I think we do. Yeah. Hello. Into the burned down mansion we go, chat. The Pokemon mansion. I guess that's your cat's thing, so. When I have the option. Uh, this one's being annoying. Let's give it a Nana Berry. Excellent throw chat. Excellent. Yeah. This one should be easier. Mm. 
Nice. Coughing and wheezing. Oh, I, lo I gotta say, chat, I really love not having wild encounters anymore. I remember um, during the uh, the the ca original candle games, I hated the Pokemon Mansion so much because there was just constant uh, encounters. Because this entire thing is like a wild, uh, like a cave, so it's constant encounters, and the place is just stupidly long. So it got so annoying. Like, even more annoying than cave stuff now. So I'm so happy we don't have to deal with that nonsense. Alright. There we are. Magma core. Oh, poison jab. Yes, please. Uh, I kind of like having toxic. So it's either Thunderbolt or Peck. But like, Peck is pretty useless. Even though it's nice to have flying type covered, having flying types covered with base power 35 is not that useful. It's bit like base power 35 without stab. So, like, it caps out at 70, and at that point, I might as well just use a better move, anyways. Max Dura. Ooh, nice. Is that guy just a burglar? Yeah! He's just a burglar. I love this model. This model is great. Amazing. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Ugh, fire spin is annoying. Have been a problem. I made the burglar cry. That. Not only is it less painful um, to be able to walk around without wild encounters, it's also more realistic, I would say. Like in real life, you can kind of just avoid animals, right? You don't just. They don't randomly pop out out of nowhere. I love how there's Rathata in here. So that's a useful Pokemon to have uh, 
this stage in the game. Alright, so flick this again. Survive. Oh no, I can get in here now. That is useful. Hello. I'm not a burglar. I just killed burglar though. Switch to Yuri, I think. Seems fine. I forgot Yuri's weak to um, rocks, but it's probably fine. We'll heal it back, Mega Drain. should also just kill. Oh, this thing also has rock slide. Okay, it's fine. We heal it back with Mega Drain. At least this one wasn't stab. But this one's... Oh, yeah, I'm also not doing as much damage to it. And I'm not sure if we can kill Wayne, so we're probably, probably close. Okay, we are. That's bad. Let's send out Alex. I guess can take care of this, no problem. This thing has Earthquake? Oh god. But at least this should kill. Like it. Oh, I don't even know as much as you're hoping. Did low special defenser, so one more hit will kill it if we're not dead. And we are. Alright, so. No special defense, so it'd be best if I could uh, go for a, like a thunder move. Oh, I didn't do as much as hoping. Submission? Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Fair. Rock slide. Neat. Already have rock slide. If he has submission, I wake up. Of course, you eat. Uh, Senya, fuck. Of course, Senya. I mean, you're basically the same person, right? Basically. your own type of loot? I mean, fair. <laughs> oh, this is not the Pokemon Center. Please no one nominate that one. <laughs> <laughs> I 
a gym kind of looks like a Pokemon Center. Like it has a similar shape, right? You, the, 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 that's not worth your nomination for a dumb cam moment. Surely not. She's, yeah, you are, Sinia. Uh, not gonna lie, I've done it. It's a similar shape. Like no one can blame you for that one. Wait, why am I healing again? So if that's dumb, then I'm done. I mean, considering you misspelled dumb, I feel like that speaks for itself. I have an excuse? Oh? What is the excuse? That, that you're not smart? Because that's my excuse. You had to lift heavy things in hot weather with a bad wrist. That doesn't necessarily make you bad at spelling things. I think those are kind of unrelated. Nothing up here. Nobody makes me tired. Ah, I suppose that makes sense. And uh, to be fair, I am very bad at spelling. So I can't really, like, mock others for it. Whoops. Yeah, I hope your wrist gets better too. It won't. Ah. Fair. Haven't been down here. Ah, this is a Pokeball. No, nothing more. An escape room. Neat. It's been like uh, a month in a brace. Did you break it? Or, like, if you don't want to talk about it, it's fine. Just making that clear. Or is it like carbon tunnel or something like that? Again, if you don't want to talk about it, that's completely fine. And I won't ask any more questions. Foul play. Neat. Uh, you basically drove for three hours a day for a week and realized on the last day when it started hurting that you've been bracing the wheel with your left wrist the entire time. Is that bad? Silver raspberries. Neat. I hope it's not permanent damage that you cause to your wrist. I know that kind of thing can like take a while to recover from, but I, I, I do hope for you that it's not permanent. But of course I know nothing. I normally have to swap pretty often, because uh, uh, both my wrists are weaker. Right. That makes sense. You should probably get it checked out, but you need insurance first. Definitely go to a doctor or something like that. And But I, I guess it's a bit more complicated when you live in the US. God, I hate the concept of health insurance. Like, Denmark is a massive problem that people don't go to the doctor often enough. So, like, we've had, like, a lot of campaigns about, like, um... If you have symptoms or things, you should go to the doctor early. Because the earlier the... Like, if... If there's nothing wrong, then, like, yeah, you waste, like, ten minutes. It's, it's okay. 
Uh, if there's something wrong, though, the earlier the catch is, the better. Hmm, do I want to feed my pets for three months? Or do I want a single... What the... Is it that expensive to have a doctor's visit? Can't you just, like, like, text your doctor and ask, Hey, is this something I should be worried about? Without insurance, yeah. Does it also cost money to just like shit send them a message? Like surely that's a system to like message your doctor. Cause like what I would do, I get that I'm Danish and I have a different perspective. Nobody wants to see a person uh, to ask us, uh, to assess, right. So what I would do is I would text my doctor, describe my system, Symptoms and ask if it's something I uh, should be worried about um, And then they would the doctor would say if it hasn't improved by this point uh, Contact me again and or get an appointment or something or my doctor might say yes This is something you should be worried about. Let me get you an appointment and then I go into the appointment and, it, and it's obviously free uh, and I have like a 15 minute consultation and if the doctor assesses that's a big problem, they'll probably send me to a specialist. But like, like the system is kind of painless. I don't understand why healthcare, like, like the whole health insurance custom, is so confusing. I hate it. <laughs> it just makes me sad. Uh, yeah, it's a similar process here, but it's be something like phenodials for visit. Not to mention prescribed painkillers as a race or something. I mean, obviously, if I get painkillers, I would also have to pay for that. Like, the painkillers is over the counter usually, and over the counter painkillers you do have to pay for. But still. $300 for a singular visit, when a singular visit can save your life, is a bit excessive. A lot of things, if you cast them early, are completely tra treatable, but if you only cast them once they're, they're big enough a problem that you can't ignore it anymore, um, that's nothing you can do. Hence why it's so important to, like, if you have symptoms and they don't go away, like, like in a week or so, you should probably at least, like, ask your doctor about them. Come if it's a, a life-saving apartment, it'd be somewhere in thousands of dollars. Right. Your country makes me depressed. Oh, hello, Kippy. How are you doing today? I hope you're well. Did you see we caught a Taurus, by the way? I don't know if you saw it, but we caught a Taurus uh, yesterday. Whoops. I wanted to, like, rotate it, but I can't. But we caught a Taurus. Very cute. Same. I don't know, I'll probably ask my mom when she gets home. Good luck. But yeah, yeah, I, I, I hope for your sake that your wrist is gonna be okay. Like, it might not be nothing. But yeah, Taurus is pretty epic. I do like Taurus. Pretty sure my grandfather got charged 7,000 for laying in a bed overnight at the ER. Your country makes me depressed. Finally, I'm canon? Yes. Kibi has been added to the game. <laughs> if you will. <laughs> Have you heard about ambulances? Yeah, those like life saving things you call in emergencies. It's a pun on, on cannon. Oh, 
Okay, that is a slightly excessive amount. What the hell is this? I think my dad got a helicopter transport once. Oh boy! Oh, I didn't have. I, I wasn't actually supposed to click the switch. Whoops. God bless America, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> It's, it's kind of funny. Like, growing up, I, like, saw all of the problems in Denmark. And I was like, uh, wh why, why is people, like, making life so difficult, right? Wh wh why, why is politics so awful? Why can't we fix things, right? And, like, I, I got really annoyed at, like, how shitty everything was. And then I got older. And I started spending more time on the internet. Especially in, like, international internet. And now, like... Like, Denmark's political issues don't seem that big anymore. It's kind of interesting how that works. <laughs> I think it's this way. Um, there's bracelets and cards you can get, the request that in the emergency, they just take you to the hospital yourself, because never would bankrupt you. Right, makes sense. Zero of world problems, scam. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of put everything into perspective a lot. To meet people from other countries. I, I, I am starting to grab... Like, like, it's a concept that I never really grasped growing up. But, like, the concept of privilege. I only really, like, fully understood it once I started talking with people from other countries. And, like, even the US is... is privileged, right? So, yeah, it, it's a hard concept to grasp. Especially when I'm autistic. Uh, I have the habit of assuming that everyone's worldview is the same as mine. And it's really hard for me to understand that people think differently, and people have different experiences from me. Like, if something is obvious to me because of my experiences, I'm gonna assume it's obvious to everyone else. Theory of mine? Yeah, that's something I struggle a lot with, uh, and I think it's due to autism. I believe, like, like uh, poor theory of mine is a common sentiment of autism. Because it's relatively well for you. Fair point, Yui. But yeah, theory of mine is hard. Essena Yui. But Yui doesn't take much damage from Thunderbolt. And then we can uh, Mega Drain. And hopefully this thing won't just explode on me or something. Oh, is that why they are terms originally? Interesting. Anyways, we, we, we are probably getting a bit too off to the hang. No such thing say is such a thing. It's a cam stream? Still. I, I, I wanna avoid too much politics. 
Like, I don't mind discussing politics, and I am relatively um about my political beliefs, but... Like, like, one thing I've learned growing up, no one enjoys talking about politics. It's especially not if there's anyone who disagrees with you. And I'm also starting to, like, realize that... That just because I disagree with someone, like, doesn't necessarily mean I can't hang out with them. And also, again, let's get back to the theory of mind thing. I have the habit of assuming everyone is like me, and what I've noticed is often I'm very open about my political beliefs, especially IRL, and I've realized a lot of times that I'd actually disagree with people that I thought I agreed with. And, uh, and, because I talk in a way, I, I just assume everyone agrees with me, and, and say a lot of, like, things that are probably pretty inflammatory, and then I piss off my, like, like people I like, because uh, they believe in something else, and then we end up in an argument. And no one likes to argue about politics. So, like, what I've discovered, like, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to trying to grasp, is that discussing politics um, often just leads to arguing. It's not discussion, it's, it's just arguing. I do still like being open about my politi political views, not so much uh, on stream, though. Or like, not so much on online in general. Because I am still very open about my political views. But like, online, there's a lot of people don't necessarily know. And like, most people that know me at all are used to my way of being. Like, they're used to me saying very inflammatory thing without me realizing they are. And because uh, I just enjoy talking about it. Even if I disagree with people. Yeah, it depends on who you talk to. And people I know I all, I know they know me. I know they know how how I'm like, and I know that they're okay with that. So, or at least if, I know if they're not okay with that, I'll find out, and then I'll try to, to like, adjust my behavior. I'm re It has to be said, I'm really bad at adjusting my behavior, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> the problem then comes with, um, when I'm not familiar with people. Like, like people online, uh, it can be anywhere, right? And I've just found like if the, the place you're you're at isn't designed to discuss things like politics, you probably don't want to discuss politics there. At least not to like it broad, like too much, you know. I enjoy discussing politics. I enjoy discussing my views and such, but like I don't want to argue with people. I, I, I think that's the point I'm trying to get across. I find learning how to be fascinating. I do too, but I think like just talking in an like public forum like this is 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 bad. I hate strong emotion. I not sure I agree with that, but that's fair. Unless the views are, you don't deserve to exist. I mean, fair. But I do enjoy talking with people I disagree with. But I, I wouldn't want to do it in stream. If I want to talk with someone, I would prefer it in like a more private setting. Uh, where it's just like me and them. Also, there's also the whole thing of, like, assume we are in a situation where it's like, 90% of people in this, like, place believe one thing. And then there's one person that doesn't. That person is not going to have a fun time. And again, like, like... We don't know who's necessarily right or wrong. There's no such thing as right or wrong. And basically everyone has a habit, including myself, everyone has a habit of believing they're always right about it. Did it so cute? Did it's adorable. I fucking love Ditto. I had one on one of my teams a, a while back. Cause I, I really like Ditto. Ditto is great.
It's just, its ability is super cool too. Ditto has one of the most interesting abilities in the game. Um, sadly, this game doesn't have abilities, and Ditto is not as fun without abilities. <laughs> but, but Ditto is definitely like 10 out of 10 perfect. I love Ditto. Oh, we can rest here, that's convenient. I'm realizing I'm starting to forget to take my brain, but... Wait, where did I put my... Oh, there. I'm gonna take a break after I leave this thing. I'm gonna finish this area. It's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna finish this area and then we take a break. I don't like... like we're, we're so close to finishing the area, so I don't want to stop in the middle. I mean, light screen doesn't do much. I can't wait for Duck to evolve. Wait, is Duck a stone evolution? Break gave me a reason to work? Alright, you can, you can work in my break. I'm gonna take my break, just not yet. So, fun fact chat. Nidoran, well, like Nidorino, evolves with a Moonstone. Just in case you didn't know that, because I didn't. I sure as hell didn't. That explains why it would never evolve. I was like, how high level does this thing evolve? Because, like, it evolved into a Nidorino uh, at, like, level 16. Like, I, I feel like it should have evolved by now. <laughs> but that explains it. We're gonna find a Moonstone uh, later then. Unless we have one. I'm gonna double check. I don't think we have one. We can probably buy one or something. Yeah, we don't have a Moonstone. Hopefully we can just buy one. That would be easy. I think this is the key? No, that's not the key. The key must be down now. I mean, I'm pretty sure the key is around here somewhere. Like here. That's gotta be the key. We got the key! Woo! Now we can leave. I'm just gonna use an escape rope because I can't be bothered. I'm gonna quickly check if we can buy the Moonstone, as else I'm gonna forget to. I would like the Moonstone. <laughs> I don't think we can, though. I think we'll have to, um go to a place where it is and like find the item on the ground or something. And I don't know where that would be, but we can look around. Uh, but I'm gonna check Celadon. I know Celadon has a lot of stones, I just don't know if they have specifically the Moonstone. But yeah, a Nido King would be fucking amazing, because that would then be ground type, which means it resists fire, it's super effective against fire. So that would just be insane. Considering we're about to go into a fire type here. And John also just in general will be much, much stronger. Oh, it's the next roll. 
I am a smart chap. Sometimes. They don't sell moonstones. Oh wait, did I? Yeah, they have a life stone and an ice stone, but not a moonstone. Okay. Are you a fellow procrastination pro here? I mean, who here isn't good at procrastinating? Like procrastination is just like, I feel like, like authors in general tend to struggle a lot with procrastination. I know it's also just a general person thing, but I think it's also especially authors. And considering most of my chat are authors thing, uh, ADSD checking in? Exactly. Because uh, ADSD and autism does have a lot of overlap. Alright, for now, uh, I'm gonna go take my brain. And I'll see y'all in 15 minutes. Bye, everyone.
Welcome back to stream everyone. I hope you're doing well. Uh, just a sec, I need to double check something quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we can find a moonstone in Saffron City, which I believe is unlocked right now. So, there's also one in Mount Moon, obviously. But I feel like it's easier to go to Saffron City, so let's go there. And thank you, thank you. Yeah. Alright, so, let me just double check the map. I believe straight, yeah, it's straight east from here is Saffron City. I can't remember if we can access it from this way, but we'll soon find out. I, mm -hmm. I think it should be fine now. Once again, campus is cute, shut up. <laughs> you can't keep starting that. Hello. Good thing I picked up the tea. Once again, uh, I can and I will. <laughs> right. Um, okay, so there should be a moonstone somewhere here. And I don't know where. Uh, and there's a lot of like stuff we still have left to do. Um, there's also the whole like Team Rocket thing. We'll call you Q until you fully accept or you die. I will accept if you do. Oh, I, I don't actually want to start this. Um, right, let me double check where it is. Oh, 
Okay, okay. It's it, it's not actually in the story section. It's in a random house. We had an impasse then. <laughs> of course. You leave messages for me if I do die. Huh. That feels slightly excessive. Poor Team Rocket Grunt. Like, he's nowhere near the door now. <laughs> Alright, so I mean... But yeah, it's inside a house. Uh, it's called the Copycast House. Uh, it's, it's a Moonstone. So that was probably the easiest Moonstone. And I don't know which house, we're just gonna look around. We're gonna look at her letter. Yeah. Okay. The carpet cat is cute. Okay, so... Alright, this guy's specifically referencing the copy cat. Uh, I guess he has a crush on the copy cat. Cam cute, I forgot the successor. I honestly forgot that the highlight message existed as well. Because it's a default thing. Like, it's one of the default uh, themes that I just left there. Yeah, everyone keeps talking about this copycat person. But I don't know where she is. Oh, she's probably upstairs here, because these people mentioned the copycat. Uh, those are the copycat's parents. So this must be the copycat. Hello. That's hilarious. Alright, so the item is supposed to be in here somewhere. Found it! Copy kitty. <laughs> oh, thank you for the stretch. I'll do that one quickly. Alright. Let's get Dark Evolved. Now that we have the Moonstone. With how young she is, she should be a copy kid. Mm. That is true. Finally, Dark is evolving, chat. Our team is about to be fully evolved. With this Nido King. Like, look at how big he is. 10 out of them. <laughs> Uh, Frash? What does Frash do again? It is 120-100 for 2 to 3 turns, then becomes confused. That is honestly pretty decent. I think I'm gonna get rid of Thunderbolt, because I have another Mon that knows Thunderbolt, and I have more months than can learn it. So we don't really need Thunderbolt here, and I like to have Ground Poison, uh, Normal, Toxic. That's pretty useful. I'll probably erase Dig with Earthquake at some point, but yeah. I think that makes sense. We don't have Earthquake yet, though. And I don't remember where Earthquake is. For now, we can head to... Um, back to do the gym. Down in where was what was it? Cinnabar, Cinnabar Island. Now we can do that. Love the harness for ear? Harness? Why are you talking about? I don't think she has a harness. Oh, you mean when we fly? Right. 
when you balloon. Okay, I understand now. Fair. <laughs> I'm just not very smart. You have to keep this in mind when dealing with me. Oh my god. Oh my god, chat. They gave the statues that are everywhere glasses and a mustache. I love that. 10 out of 10. I don't have every gym that that. I haven't noticed if all of them did, but it's amazing. What the fuck, Blaine? I love Blaine. Wait, what does that say? Certified trainer's intelligence. I'm ready. It's a fucking quiz show. I love this. You still get a Blaine doll. Oh my god. I can collect the five Blaine dolls. This is amazing. It's a game show. Okay, they vastly improved this gym from the original. Because they kept the quiz thing. The quiz thing was also an original, but they turned it into a game show, and it makes it so much better. The Spitfire Pokemon. That's probably Magma. I love the same. This is so much better. You got a Blaine doll. I love this. Uh, that's eight. I love how he just pops in to do a little dance when I answer correctly. That's fucking hilarious. Oh my god, he has so much personality. Uh, move use on the fire pump will be not very effective. This little dance is hilarious. I love this gym so much. Tombstoney. I don't think that's a move. It's called Tombstone. So I'm gonna say false. Tell me, who are you about to battle? Uh, the Blaine, the Cinnabar Island Gem Leader, a fire type of Pokemon Pro, a hot headed quiz master, a mustache old man, an old guy in sunglasses. All of these are correct, and that's hilarious. I'm gonna say... A, a mustached old man. We did a... Uh, all the questions got correct. He went quiz time? As if that wasn't the fourth question. Yeah, this guy has quite the personality, <laughs> it's hilarious. How the fuck did you get over there? No, 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 you were on the left side. How did you get over there? But yeah, 10 out of 10. Oh my god, the fire in his eyes, that's great. They kept the spirit of the gym, but made it actually make sense. It was kind of random, so there's a quiz in this like lab themed gym. So I kept the spirit, but like, made it a million times better. 10 out of 10. Guess the cam seal of approval. And we hit ourselves. Wait, we don't resist fire? I thought we did. I swear if you hit yourself again, I'm gonna be so mad. Alright, good. Huh. Well, we probably need to switch here. Or we will die. That's unfortunate.
Oof. Burn. It's a bit annoying, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Because we have special attack anyway. Oh, God, that thing is faster than me? Okay, we're under level. We're very under level. I wasn't expecting a magma to be faster. Because, like, Sami is very, very fast. Hopefully, we're faster than whatever comes next, so we don't die. Arcanine. Arcanine's also pretty fast. That might maybe a problem. Come on, please. No, we're not faster. Mm, I guess we'll have to rely on Alex. Alex will pro- oh, sorry, not Alex. Sinia. Sinia will probably still do this gym, I imagine. Or at least do a lot. Because, like, Fire does nothing against um, Sinia. Ow. That hurt. You're almost useful. You were a kind of. You killed a mon. That is useful. Especially since we're this on the level. Then, like, even killing one mon is pretty useful. Okay, we're screwed. I don't think we beat this yet, even with favorable type matchup. And all of his mods are so stupidly fast. Okay, that shouldn't do anything. Yeah, that does nothing. And that did a lot. Alright, one mon left. I think we should be okay. It's just a nine cells, that's not that bad. Okay. That was bad. <laughs> uh can we beat this? I do not know. We have a couple of options. None of them are, like, amazing. I'm gonna go with Kibbe. Because Kibbe has Surf. Oh god, it did a lot. At least that move doesn't have much PB. That did nothing! What the fuck? Okay. Well, that's bad. Uh, I'm gonna send out Yui to die. Because, because he, uh, Nine says you only have one more Fire Blast left. And that move is just too dangerous. So I'm sorry, Yuri, but you're being sacrificed to get rid of a fire blast. Not again. <laughs> I don't often have to sacrifice months, but in this one case, I I I need to get rid of that final PP. Wait, it have one more? I thought I only had five. Oh, it was that only the fourth one. Okay. Uh, yet we'll have to carry this then. Alright, so either is 160 or is yeah, 167 is a quick one. Yeah, now it's out. Now it's out of fire best. Now we have a chance. Can't count? Yeah. Yeah, I'm bad at counting. One more and we win. That was fucking hard though.
but we did a we beat Blame and got the uh, the the sixth batch. Good job, us. I love the high five so much. It's so adorable. Also got five lads. I don't have anyone that can learn it, but we can see it. Whip could be useful. Eevee can revolve in this game? No. If you try to evolve Eevee, uh, it, Eevee will say it didn't seem to like that. Um, or something like that. So it's impossible to evolve. Uh, same goes for Pikachu. Uh, it, but only the partner one. If you catch an Eevee, you can evolve that one. But like, I can show you. Yeah, she doesn't like uh, seem to like the, uh, the Firestone. She wants to stay an Eevee. Which I guess is like, so the, uh, this game is based around Pokemon Yellow, which is based around the anime. Because uh, Pokemon Yellow, you start with a Pikachu, and it's like, uh, uh, it also has Jesse and James and everything. Um, and that, uh, in the original anime, Ash's Pikachu got the option of evolving into a Raichu, and uh, refused because it wanted to stay a Pikachu. And I'm guessing that in... In Pokemon Yellow, you couldn't involve Pikachu as a reference to that. Uh, and then, obviously, once they make these games, which are based on Pokemon Yellow, um, it makes sense to also not make them evolve. And also, it kind of fits with, like, like oh, this game is heavily Eevee, Brenda. Or is, is, uh, is she playing hard to get? She's playing hard to get. That's adorable. Oh my god, that smug face. That's adorable. I remember the episode. It was uh, versus the right I think. Yeah, yeah. I think it was against Lieutenant Surge. Did you make him mad? No, she was just being smug. Trying to evolve her? No, she was just being smug. And it was adorable. Her intelligence. Alright, so let's go to Saffron to get the uh, gym badge from there. That would be the next step. No, next step is to go to the uh, the tower, um, Silph Coke Tower, in also in Saffron. Because uh, Team Rocket has taken over Silph Coke Tower and we can't do the gym before we deal with them. So that's the next step, is to deal with Team Rocket and Silph Coke. I think though, because we are like a bit on the level, I think I'll do the the fighting gym first. Because the fighting gym is also around here. Um, which isn't a real gym, it's a fake gym, but I, uh, but I think I can do that one before Team Rocker. And I could use a bit of XP, so I'm gonna do the fighting dojo. So this is the real gym. This one is the fake gym. That's like right next door. Oh, is this gonna be a double battle? Okay, no. Nothing. They're pretty low level, actually.
Right, so it's a bit of XP, which is nice. Especially the uh, Dojo Master. We do have to beat all five of them, I think. But that shouldn't take long. Raveler! That thing isn't even fighting type! I guess it does fit the aesthetic, and he did also mention boulder lifting as like training, so I guess it works. But still, it's not even fighting type, I'm offended. Holy World. That's also not fighting type. It evolves into a fighting type, but Pearly World itself is not. That thing's pure water. It's a really weird not gym. Okay, that one's actually a fighting sign. That's fine. Should this should kill? Okay, that thing is all fighting type. It's also water type, which gives me a really easy matchup. And he only has one Pokemon for some reason. I, I'm starting to get why why Sabrina gets to be the uh, GM leader of Saffron City and he doesn't. He has one Pokemon, and like, like Sabrina is one of the po most powerful gym leaders in the entire game. This guy is pretty worthless. <laughs> And Sabrina must also just wipe the floor with him because of type advantage. I'm gonna go with the left one. I like Hitmonlee better. The Hitmonchan. Oh wait, there's also a, a random train on the corner that I hadn't missed. Why the fuck is it just this random train on the corner? I have a feeling she's gonna be tougher than any of the trainers in here. Including the, the Karate Master. I am correct. She has two bow one. 
That is significantly more difficult. Oh, right. It resists. I forgot. I guess it'll just break break. Yeah, let's get over Mega Brain, even if we don't have a lot of them left. Resist that, so that's perfect. And this will kill. Now we go to Silco to uh, beat up Team Rocker. I should probably also. I'm, I'm quickly gonna stop by the Mart to buy some Altar Balls because I'm running low. And they're good to have. Just like 40 of them or so. To Silphco. No, we need to heal, then we need to go to Silphco. Why is the Pokemon Center? Okay, it's there. One road further down. And then we go to Silphco. Poor guy. The skinning boulders passed. Hello, Mrs. Receptionist. Oh, Blue is here. Been a while. Hello, Blue. I do really like Blue in this game. Is Blue going to be the champion? I have a feeling Blue's going to be the champion. Or maybe Red Roll. So, in the... Uh, I know in the... Gold, silver, uh, Kanto bits. Blue is the eighth gym leader, but I'm pretty sure the eighth gym leader currently is still gonna be Giovanni. I don't actually remember what the champion was. Oh, right, the champion in the first game was the rival, so that was Blue. And then in the remakes, it was Lance, I think. As a girl now, have a nice day and weekend, everyone. Alright! Good night, uh, Kippy. Thank you for showing up, and uh, have a nice weekend. Thank you for coming.
All right, so if we can beat blue. Yeah, I can beat blue. That should be easy enough. How hard can it be? He only has two months anyways. And one of them is Secretary, which is times four weeks to um, bark. And I have a bark in the lead. So that's pretty convenient. Oh look, the executor is there. <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> Alright, Cherry side. Of course it's the Cherry side. They could have picked any of the starters. But uh, should... Hmm, I wonder, should they go with the... Uh, with like the the the, the blast toys maybe the one that's like like I like this blue colored and kind of associated with blue and in the uh, Pokemon Masters game he has the blast toys. Nah, let's go with Cherry Side. We I, I feel like we haven't used Cherry Side in, in, enough lately, right? Yeah, like it only got like an like last time we really had a big Cherry Side was like all the way when it got a, a, like two Mega Evolution. And for good measure, in the game after, we're also gonna give the champion a Cherry Slot. And it's a unique Dynamax form. Despite the other uh, starters not getting onto the DLC. And we really just don't use the Cherry Slot enough, I feel like. We, we, got, we gotta be sure we have enough Cherry Slot. Just for good measure. Alright, this should kill. I actually should probably serve, but whatever. Well, that was easy. Alright, I'll go heal quickly before I go up. Right now we can head on. Start by checking out the room. It's probably a good idea. But if I remember right, Silvco uh, is a bit of a mess. It's, it's kind of a maze. So, it'll be interesting. I can be near you, counters eradicate pretty well with Brick Break. Oh, Super Fang hurts. But Break Break hurts more. Crash. Uh, one's why, but it's the one that's like a bit, but like it's aggressive. At the same time, it's also like way, probably way better than takedown. Uh, 
Hello? Oh, you're not a... I thought he was just like hostage or something. No, no, no. I, I guess he's with them. Well, that's fair, I suppose. Gotta do what you gotta do. He does about as much damage as he does, so that's very convenient. Let's go this way. Gotta go somewhere at least. And this, there's a lot of split paths, so you just have to pick one. And follow it until we can't anymore. Okay, now we're up here. What is this? Gets us in here. Need key card to open the door. But we don't really need to open the door because we're gonna save the teleport to leave the room. Hello, Sciences Parker. Uh, let's just send out Doc. Doc can take care of these pretty easily. Our reflect is rude. Don't like that. But it should still be fine. Still worth using big. Especially since that draws out reflect. Oh, and also that does a lot of damage. Uh, I'm just gonna poison Tiap, I think. Should kill. Just poison jam. Hyper beam. Slightly excessive. Poison jab kills here with hyper flame. Revive, not a key card. I'm gonna go back and explore this floor a bit more, and then I can come back up here. Like, I haven't been over here, for example. Alright, that's rude. I don't like being poisoned. 
That bastard will pay for this. Much better. Pay how? By death. I will take my payment in blood. And also money. Because I when I beat them up, they give me money. We do need the key card over here. To explore this area further. There's also a uh, teleport up there we can check out. I haven't been there. There's also the stair. Run out of things. There's a lot, lot of split past here. It really is the maze. And now we're here. Is this where I think we are? Yeah, this is where I think I am. Okay, so now we're back up here. Just some the other side. Um, let's send air. Let's just send out dark, that's fine. Persian. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm just gonna poison Java. Nah, that's fresh. Fresh should be okay. Yeah, that's fine. Let me just string a bit of water, just a sec. One of the four Team Rocket sisters. Hmm. I wonder if I should be afraid of that, but it's probably fine, I imagine. Should kill. Poison doesn't do too much. That's fine. I'm not dead, and I can one shot the coffin without speed, most likely. So that'll be fine. As long as it doesn't protect or something. Yeah. No problemo.
Just to get an idea of what I am, I'm, I am gonna walk down the stairs. Just like, double check. Oh no, this is a different floor. This place is massive, holy hell. Where am I now? Joshua. Can someone explain A V hail to me? A V yes and how? Like what 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 AV? Do you know, what does it stand for? Because I don't recognize that term. I was trying to hook up the Montreal TV. The colored ones? They transmit audio and video signals. Um, isn't it just you plug it in to one end and then you plug it into the other end and then it works? Because isn't that how normal wires work? Or is there more to it? There's like seven cables you have to plug in to the right places. Wait, really? What the fuck? Yeah, I haven't seen them. Uh, I do have a TV that I set up myself, but I, I didn't use... I, I don't have any cables for it, because we only do, um, like, ACMI cables for streaming, and that's it. So we haven't bothered, like, buying, like, or, like, getting, like, the TV audio thing, a uh, standard TV cable. Um, so I don't know how to set it up, I'm afraid. I, my best guess would be Google. This is an older TV. Ah, makes sense. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Sinia. Gonna do that quickly. The color ones, I think. Uh, if you notice, I don't. I just said. Although they're still more new than the one my mom has, right? As I just said, I I I I, I only use my TV for very basic things. I don't have a cable, so I wouldn't know them. Gotta be some indication of how you just put it in, though. Surely. Alright, this should kill. Um. Yes, it's a bunch of different colors that's supposed to match. The matching ones were making uh, were matching across three different inputs, and for some reason weren't any matching colors. Uh, it's probably just like there's different standards for the colors, so my best uh, bet would be just Google it. It's probably the safest bet. It's probably, Google's probably better at giving advice on it than I am. You can't be the only one with that issue. Adorable. I don't want to model anything though, or the year. You don't need to, just look up how to plug in um, an AV, AV cable. And then it's probably gonna come up and say, okay, so there's like these different standards that it usually is. 
and explain like the differences and which one to use and like how they compare most likely because like even if you don't know the model I imagine there's like only so many different ways that are standards for AV cable even if there's multiple ways it can only be so many too hard to think right now? I mean, fair. Thinking is hard. Confused rate is cheating. Plug it in randomly and pray? I think that's a bad idea. I, I, I'm still gonna go with look it up. So the, the, the thing you have to remember is, uh, like IT support and programming are the two jobs where 90% of your work is just googling things. Like an IT support probably wouldn't know by heart how to do it either, they would just know how to google it. This place is massive. Let me try turning it off and on again. <laughs> okay, in this case, I don't think that, like, it. Like, the, here we are on the plug in the wires, so that's not gonna help. But hey, it was worth a shot. I really need to heal, but I believe there's a place you can heal inside the tower itself. Do it again? Fair. Assume I did, that I didn't try that three times just in case. Lamau. <laughs> right, me after Sam. I'm gonna go heal after this, I think. We definitely need to. This place is massive. Please don't kill me. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, can avenge. Poor people. Just like stuck here. Uh, now we're back here. Uh, now I don't know where. This place is too big. I swear it's the goddamn maze. I'm just gonna flash and hope that's fine. I can't be bothered to do anything else. Yeah, that should be fine. It depends a bit on the second mom. Maybe that's the type that says normal, but I don't think so. 
Yeah, that's fine. I really don't remember where the uh, key card is. But we're back here. Oh, we haven't been here before. How many floors are there? Holy hell. And I get lost so easily. I'm just gonna take the elevator down. Because I'm lost. Okay, there's 11 floors. Holy hell. And you two still down here? Like, I, I'm spending all of this time just like trying to find my way through this place. And there's like through the 11 floors. And they two is just still chilling with their Pokemon fight. Not enough floors? Sure. That could, that could be a couple more, just in case, right? we go. I'm just gonna take the, the elevator to the 11th floor and see if that works, or else I'm just gonna go down and slowly explore each floor. Because we need to find a key card, I imagine. But this feels like a good place to start. Rousey. Let's just leak slide, that's fine. I think it's actually annoying because it resists everything we can do. So let's just switch here. It's just an out, like Kitty or something. Should be fine. Thunderbolt. That should do a lot. I would hope at least. Okay, go back. Dies the same way. Find a bow. Go. Okay, it'll need two hits, but um, it's fine. Alright, so we can actually just go up to the 11th floor. There's not anything up here. 
Uh, we have to go here by a um, teleporter. And we probably also need the key card first. I would imagine. This is a maze, I swear. And it just keeps going. Uh, let's send out Alex. Fine. Should go down to psychic pretty easily. I'm just gonna try like walking randomly rather than the system. And see where I am now. Because I think if I try to go for system, I'm just gonna get lost. Anyways. I have I already been here? No, I have not. I'm gonna try to do every like fight, because like one of them might have the key card. Or alternatively, if I do every fight, then I can see where I've been. And then it's very convenient to have that information. Then whenever I see a fight, then I know it's an area I haven't explored. Oh, that's excessive. And it did nothing. Okay, that's fine. Electro. Well, that's annoying. Just gonna psychic anyways. Oh, it somehow lived that. Well, that's a pain. It's probably gonna explode now. Oh, it didn't. I was really expecting it to explode, because, like, he had two Pokemon. Both are famous for exploding. One of them exploded. Like, it feels pretty obvious the second one would, too. Well, I guess, actually, now I think about it, you don't want two Pokemon to both explode, because then you just lose automatically. Something down here. I haven't actually been here, I don't think. Yeah. I have fought this guy. Oh, it's because we have done this teleport before. I don't think we've done the. No, we have done that. I'm gonna try this teleport. I can't remember where it goes, but I'm, I have been through it before. Right, that goes through here and then like a long tunnel. Still need to find a key card. Though. Right, I haven't done this fight. Science has rot me. And it's Voltorb. Dig should be fine. If it wanna explode, we won't die, so that's even better.
But yeah, this tower is just really impractically designed. It's so hard to get around them in such a maze. It's really impractical. Now I'm going to select her. Let's go back this way, I think. So we've been here before. But there might be like an area part of here where I haven't explored yet. I have not through here. It doesn't seem to be on this floor. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take the... Uh, teleportal. See where it goes. I haven't been here, I'm pretty sure. Scientist Connor. Oh, it survived that. That's an inspector. Nothing here though, so that's convenient. Unless we have a key card, which we still don't know once again. I guess we can just try using the stairs and like hoping. Maybe over here. No, I've already been here. Yeah. Let's let's go to the stairs. I'm gonna go. What floor are we on? We are on sixth floor. I'm gonna go down to fifth. Oh, I think this is actually the floor that has the uh, the key card. Mm. I'm ninety percent sure this is the floor. Should be pretty easy to take on. Hip, oh no. That feels appropriate to call it. <laughs> Fight for that should do a lot. Alright, Saga Punch. That makes sense. 
Yeah, it's fine. Having bite is really useful. But it will also help against that. And it's dead. Oh, Archer's here. Yeah, that's definitely an indication I'm going the right way. That's convenient. Uh, I wanna send out Doc, I think. And yeah, I can't, I'm kinda happy uh, that the rival has the Cubone. It's a very cute continuation of the uh, Lavender story. Because I'm guessing that's the Cubone from Lavender. Oh, damn! That play! Use Protect on one Mon and then Explode with the other. That's a really good play. Well, I mean, it's, it's a mediocre play, but it's pretty good. The explode isn't the best. It's using self-destruct or the, or the light just feels like a waste, honestly. Or keep them. Having, having to take so much punishment. Oh, that's doing a lot. Maybe it wants to shut up, do you think? We things protecting this time. Good, because I attacked the uh, the mark. Can okay, be non good reasons for that. Still. Good damn it, chat. Radicate. I think I'm just gonna dig uh, against the Wee thing. Cube on down, that's fine. God damn it, Cynthia. <laughs> no chat, stop this. I got screwed hard there. I'm just gonna flash.
see again? Again what? You get screwed hard there. Okay, that one's on you, Sinya. That one's definitely on you. That's a pretty normal sentence. I did say that, but it's a normal sentence. With intentions? I had no intentions at all. There's, there's literally, that is completely 100% accidental. I don't actually use that word in the dude mana normally. I forgot that it also has that meaning. To be fair. I don't. You, like, like... That is a pretty normal sentence. There's nothing weird or lewd about that. You can't just call everything lewd. That's on you. So I think, I think it's you two that deserves bugs now. For, for, I agree with Cam. Yes, thank you. You literally use the same argument against me. Do we ask Ear? Maybe she knows? I mean, Ear is asleep, so good luck. Okay, we got the key card from Intelligence. Well, that is different from the original. The original, we, uh, the key card was just like in a random place. And we like had to find it, uh, an extra tr uh, trainer or something. So, was the one pushing it? Yeah, you. I, I'm, I'm still blaming both of you. <laughs> you can't stop me. But fair. <laughs> I think we should go up to the eleventh floor in a moment. The next time I want hope back. <laughs> God damn it! What have I done? Hello, Hypno. Hope everyone watches the question. I have no idea. Oh, that's bad. I didn't want to be poisoned here because I wanted uh, full health on Alex. Oh, well, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. If we go up immediately after this. Oh, we haven't actually found a teleport to the 11th floor, thinking about it. We still have some looking around to do. Um. Flash cannon. Neat. But now we have like, the key card. We can look around uh, much more efficiently. There's a lot of doors we can suddenly open. Maybe couldn't before. Have we never gone down that path? Huh. I thought we had. Mm. 
All right, we have two potential paths. Let's start with the first one. That would be the correct one. Thank you. Archer's back again. Yeah! This is the correct way. I swear you can't kill any NPCs in Starfield. Why not? Right, I'm gonna continue on and deal with uh, Giovanni. Oh, these two, right. Essential NPCs, right. That's a mechanic. Jesse and James. They still only have an Arbor and a Weezing. I just want the option. I mean, to be fair, I mean, you can disable that with a mod, I'm pretty sure. But to be fair, I understand why they want to be careful with the whole NPC thing, because if you can accidentally lock yourself out of a quest, that would be pretty bad. Like, it's not something you should have the ability to do. You just played Auto Worlds? I, I, I don't know anything about Auto Worlds. Out of Worlds, right. In that game, you can kill all but one of the embassies you meet and still beat the game. But. At a side quest, at a side quest you lock out off if you kill an NPC. I don't care about beating the game. It, I, you shouldn't have the ability to unknowingly lock yourself out of 100% of the game. Outer Wilds and Outer Wilds are two very different games. Uh, well, I don't know either of them, so... But I personally believe that you shouldn't be able to accidentally lock yourself out of 100%. That just shouldn't be a thing. When you kill someone, uh, you should reload. What do you mean by you should reload? What if you don't know the essential? The game orders it. What if you don't know that the essential? That's the problem. I, I honestly think Bethesda's approach is okay. I, I do think having the essential NPC mechanic works. It's a bit immersion breaking, obviously. But like better than that, than you accidentally kill an essential NPC you didn't realize was essential. The whole faction turns angry. Well, that's not really important. All right. What if you're not very good at the game and think, or oh, she's gonna have an exasperated look? Yep. <laughs> Adorable. I don't even want to go heal. But yeah, what, what, what if you think that's normal, that's not a problem, and, and then you just can't do that faction's quest anymore? Because you killed that one person. Yes, you can still beat the game, but you can't 100% anymore. Because you did something early on that you didn't realize it was bad. That's why I prefer Professor's approach. Even if it's a bit immersion breaking. But you can also disable that with mods, so. But I think default behavior should be whatever it's safer. Bethesda can do that too. Tough choices? Lefou choices. Well, I mean, still. Dialogue. Well, still. 
You shouldn't be able to kill an NPC that then later prevents you from doing a quest. That's just my point. At least not without knowing it. Dialogue is different. If you have a dialogue option that clearly is a branching tree that leads to that different paths, right? Like if someone, like if you have the option of like, I don't know, uh, I'm gonna help you or I'm gonna kill you. If that's your two options, you should expect those two options to have consequences. Um, killing someone random shouldn't have that big, like, like maybe it should have, I agree, it should have consequences. Like things like you get wounded or something. It shouldn't permanently lock you out of doing something. If it's like an intended part of the game's combat. Like I know pirating is a part of that game, right? Like you murder things to steal ships, that's part of the game. That's an intended playstyle. You shouldn't then be punished by it being prevented from what Humpy's in game without knowing it. If you get a very obvious choice, like, if the game tells you you have two options here, through dialogue or whatever, right? You can either kill this person or you can save them. Then you will sh then you expect this to have a consequence, and you have a choice. Um, if you have the option of, like, killing or sparing them without it being an obvious choice, and you just kill them because you think they're, they're generic and busy, Um And you then later end up, like, having to restart because you got locked out of quests. I think that's a very bad thing. That shouldn't be able to happen. At least not knowingly. But I do also think it's nice to have the option. And that's why I think it's good that you can mod the, that option in. You can disable the essential NPC via mods. But it shouldn't be default behavior. Hello, Giovanni. Time to beat up Giovanni again. I should be okay. I, a lot of my permanent are a bit low health, but I think I'm okay. Sorry, I missed everything you said. Oh. Well, I just went on a massive rant. Uh, I can try to redo it. <laughs> my point isn't that, like... Like, it's fine to have tough choices with consequences. But it should be very obvious that that choice is there. Like, it should be communicated to the player. So, like... Like, for example, if you have the dialogue option of, like, I, as an NPC... Like, you can either pick to kill them or you can pick to spare them. I would expect that to have consequences. That's fine. Uh, if you, on the other hand, just, like, kill a random NPC uh, that you didn't think was relevant, um, that shouldn't then lock you out of a quest. That's just my point. Like, you shouldn't be able to do it without knowing that was important. How is that different from shooting people? Because of knowledge. You expect it. If you just shoot a random person, you don't expect that to um, be a problem. Like, you, ha you have no reason to believe that that would be a be an issue later the game it encourages I agree if the, the game disencourages you from doing that this game on the other hand it's an intended playstyle to be a murder hunter. like you kill random overseas quite often right like, I, I read some, like, the one thing I know about Starfield is I read somewhere that apparently one of the, the best ways to play the game, or at least, like, the most fun ways to play the game, is by being a pirate. By murdering and stealing people's ship. If you shoot someone in a faction, everyone turns back for I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe. But we're talking about specifically this essential NPC mechanic. I think I am... Supporting the essential NPC mechanic, I think it's necessary. It's immersion breaking, but I think it's necessary. And you can disable it via mods, but default behavior, I think essential NPC is a good way of handling it. There's other ways of handling it, but you can't just like go around murdering NPC and locking you out of the quest without realizing that that NPC was important. 
My problem is when air one is essential. What do you mean air one is essential? I'm pretty sure I saw Nya murder dead bodies. Like non random MVCs? Well, I mean, non random MVCs usually have quest relevance. I, I, I don't really know much about the game, so I can't say, of course, but hey. We did a. We beat Giovanni. Nice. Any name the MVC is essential. Okay, that might be slightly excessive. Bye. When am I name? Fair. Okay, that's slightly overusing the essential mechanic. The names aren't uh, are the ones you get quests from. I, I I get that. I don't know. There's a lot of ways of handling, and it's a very complicated topic. I think essential NPCs is is a way of handling it, uh, that can be positive, but it can definitely also be done wrong. And it, and okay, you are making making it sound like that th they th th didn't handle it that well. But I think having no essential NPCs would be worse. It's just my point. But true, every NPC being essential, that's a bit excessive. I'm sorry to make uh, this the whole thing. No, 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 it's fine. But for now... Uh, I think it's about time that we end stream for today. Oh wait, dialogue. Now to get away with killing someone oral, you need to plan out. Yeah, go rest, I need to stab something. Have fun, Yui. Oh, welcome to the stream, uh, Nilsa. A bit of a bad timing, because I'm about to end, but... <laughs> thank you for coming anyways. Makes me happy. Did you have... Uh, act By the way, Nilsa, did you manage to beat... Um, what's her name? Fuck, I forgot her name. The shopkeep. Why can't I remember? No worries, we're here for a while. Ah, I see. Well, thank you for lurking. It was fun. I had a nice dream. See you tomorrow? Yeah, see you tomorrow, Yui. I'll quickly look for someone to read. Yeah, and... Wait, you beat Irisu? Already? It took me like 10 hours to beat Irisu on Hell Mode. How did you just casually do it? Are you just like a god or something? I am convinced. No says god. Uh, we're both bunny lovers, that's why Yusu is easy. Ah, yes, that checks out, yeah. You know how violent I sound? I'm an innocent cackle, trust me. Cackles are never innocent, that's a trick. Hmm. 
Alright, I can't really find anyone I want to raid right now, so I won't overthink it. So, good night, everyone. I'll be ending here. And I'll see you all tomorrow, I hope. Thank you for coming by. It was fun. And we'll be taking on Saffron City Gem, and maybe even the League if we have time, next time. Bye!